mobile, and so we were using Chase's. Uh, we were tethered to Chase's phone and using his 4G to get the Monday's Elk video uploaded. And we we're at five percent, so we're hoping that it'll it'll get all uploaded. It's a good one. You don't want to miss it. And now we are in Josh's house, loading up for Texas. I shaved. Nah, he said he wasn't going to do it until he shot a coos deer with his bow, but he didn't shoot a coos deer with his bow. <sighs> we made it to Tucson, or Josh's house, and we are about to load up and head for Texas. That's the plan. What's going on, white boys? Ding dong. What's up? How are you? Good, how you doing? Have you met Jay? Nice yes. to meet you, Josh. Josh Smith, good to meet you, sir. Straight yeah. from work, bro? Good you want work. a shower? Might as well. I'm good. I was in training all day. Well, dude, your balls need to be like fresh? semi fresh. Yeah, yeah. freshies. Not bad time, dude, from when you sent that picture way deep in Phoenix, right? Yeah, it wasn't bad. What's up? More traffic than what do you guys got? I've been kind of just chilling right here because not much. Not much. A couple bags, a couple pads, light stuff. And we'll fill this thing up. Pack machine. What? What is this? This is a pad, right? Not a sleeping bag? We've got the man, the myth, the legend here, Mr. Matt Cutlip. You know when you take Matt on a hunting trip, something's gonna die. That's why we invited him. Either. I get for never riding it. This is uh, for the United States of America. We gotta have one over here. We gotta have one over yonder. So Victor, this is you, buddy. I'm thinking about you right now. Actually, it's all kinds of fucked up today. Holy shit! Oh, we got nothing cold in there. God. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, Jameson. Fueling up. About to leave Tucson. Got about eight hours worth of driving. It's like six o'clock in the evening. 
had everyone dropped off, Matt and Jeremy back to the airport. They're heading home. Matt cut lip went with his wife and Josh went home and I stopped to see my family here in Tucson. Hooked me up with some salsa and a burrito here. And I'm hitting the road, got a few more hours to drive. Just our typical leave at night, drive, go hunt for a couple days, drive home in the dark and get back to our families and our jobs. Amen to that. It's the norm. Here we are, driving at night. Wouldn't trade it for anything. 8.30 at night. We're doing the same Ten exact hours thing. Out. <laughs> Hey Matt, can you give us your best Eric Bergman impression and tell us where we're at right now? We're in Van Horn, Texas, and I don't know the clip that I'm supposed to be emulating. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Because we're in Van Horn, Texas. Van Horn. We're getting more fuel. I'm kind of on the last stretch of this drive. It was an eight hour drive from Tucson, and we have Two more hours to go until Presidio. We'll probably get there just in time to put the tripods out and start glassing for some all dead sheep. Good women roll, make fast it out of the sun. See in a couple hours. Of themselves. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. Unless they to rot all the weeds that they grew. Never they slave the whole human race, making dollars off our fate while your hands getting stained. And transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath. What a fool state of mind, but hey. It's a paycheck, it's a paycheck, God only knows. We made it to the ranch. We are... We are tired is what he's trying to say, y'all. We are here. And we are tired. It's... What time is it? Josh. Four something. It's three. Five twenty. Yep. Um, we left at seven Tucson time. Seven hours. Nope. Eight hours. We're here on the ranch, but we got a couple more miles to go till we get to where we're gonna camp. Then we're gonna sleep for a couple hours and then find some sheep. Go lay the hammer down, boy. We're gonna shoot two sheep and then we're gonna drive home eight hours and then five more hours back to Flagstaff. Josh. Yes sir. The people of YouTube want to know what you're doing right now with lights on. Quite frankly, I don't know what I'm doing right now because I'm a little bit lackadaisical. How long you been up? To be honest, 24 hours and two minutes. That's pretty ironic, but that's the truth. I get up at 3.30 to go work so I can come out here and do this with my friends. And then haul ass back to town, be with my family, and back to business on Monday. Did you guys see that? <laughs> he didn't drop that one, one F bomb. Something's wrong with you. He does need some sleep because he didn't drop one F bomb. I don't want to have to get my makeup ready in the morning, so I'm going to do it tonight. I took these out because I don't think I'm going to need these gloves tomorrow. I think it's a little bit warm for them.
time to take an hour nap. I just want to thank the Lord above for being able to come out here with my homeboys. Chase the law dads around. It is Saturday morning. We just rolled out of bed. Got about an hour of sleep. Still wearing my work clothes. And we are trying to find a sheep before the sun comes up over the hill. Once that sun comes over, it's gonna make it tough to glass, so. We're just all eyes on the mountain right now, trying to locate something and then we might put together a game plan to hike up there and get a little closer. But hopefully we find them first. Got some pigs up on that ridge in front of the big mountain, but no sheep yet. But then again, I just woke up like five minutes ago, so... And you just went to sleep 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm tired. We just drove eight and a half hours and slept for probably a legitimate hour. And now we're going to go walk over those little hills right over there and go try and find some sheep, I think. There's a big old ball of something. Yeah. Getting my drink. What are you drinking? Something to, it's like an energy thing. <laughs> Good one. They have them, they really do. You ready to get moving? Just waiting on Josh, as usual. Local Pancho Villa. Surprised we haven't heard an F bomb yet. There are a lot of traps on that path. There are. <laughs> and a few buckles too. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of breath. Yeah. Only 10 feet from the truck. I'm tired. I need one of these right here. All that talk. How fancy that one is. Yeah. Brand new. Freshy. That, well, gotta break them in though. It's kind of like the, you know. Well, either try to side hill it or go up this wash and hit that side right there. Whichever way you get up to that farthest. That You've been up there. Way. Which way is quicker or easier? Let's go the hard way for Josh. Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever y'all want to do. We're um, back here in the desert of West Texas for round two. Looking for some odd sheep. And um, so far we haven't seen any, but we're hiking up to a better glassing point. Maybe we'll find them. Struggling. Bunch of fat white boys <laughs> with an hour of sleep apiece. <laughs> now we gonna go find some sheep, boy.
one out in the open and I think I see the body of another, but I'm not sure I haven't seen it move. Where are you at, bro? I still haven't found it. Oh my gosh, look. At the very peak of the mountain, the highest uh, point. Yeah. Come straight down, see how that big shadow looks like a just blast of our first sheep of the trip. We're getting spies go pal. Put your binoculars on the sun. He's right keeping an eye on right edge. Right edge of it. Let's see what we have. Is it a ram? I don't think so. Looks like it's got pretty crazy little horns. There's probably several more of them there. Six of them. Oh yeah. Good enough for me to shoot, I can tell you that. Where are you looking? Mm. Oh, you gotta tell me when that thing's rolling, dude, so I don't say the F word. Got too many kids watching us. You see the little knob that's out in front of us, Matt? Yep. By itself, just the, the right above that on that next shelf. Yep. You see him? I do now. Last up a, a desert bighorn ewe. Looks like she's got a radio collar and, and an ear tag. The Big Bend National Park is back there and there's actually quite a few desert bighorns back on the park so it looks like this ewe made her way out to the edge here on this ranch. It's pretty cool to see though. Well, we just found eight sheep. It's like one ram, and I think the rest are you. One of them's right up there. The other ones are right over there. So we've been glassing this spot for a while. I think we're just gonna move on up the canyon and do some more glassing. Girl, they just, they just did underhand pitch to her for the first time, and she hit the first ball that was pitched to her. Nice, wow, that'll work. Yay, before the first pitch in the video. That wasn't as really bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Um, I I can go. Just, just hold on a second. Yeehaw! 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 Good dog, dude. Oh, my goodness. I'm not worried about Josh. I don't have a rifle. <laughs> the truck. I'm good. I'll just keep making an ass out of myself so everybody can f laugh at me. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with free entertainment. sheep back here earlier that moved off. We're hoping to find some new ones in here. It's pretty quiet.
Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might be owning this gun before this trip's over. That would have been number three today. It's a good day to be in West Texas. It's a little warm though. It's about 97. I've seen about 10 odd ads so far. One ram. Wasn't it good one though? I mean, look at it. It's steep. We've made it about 92.3% of the way up here. And uh, this next 7.7% uh, is going to be tough. But we're going to make it. Uh, it's midday on Saturday and we're wondering why we hiked all the way back in here because there's no sheep or they're just laying in the shade and we can't find them but that's what we're trying to do too is lay low in the shade it's probably 90 91 degrees <clears throat> pretty hot not a lot of activity since first thing this morning but we're just gonna keep glassing and hopefully turn something up this is uh, I feel like a lizard on a rock out here but I did get at least like half an hour or maybe an hour of sleep so that helped that was not good. I was getting very tired. Just blowing my nose, Bubba. The baby wipes are staying in there. Just blowing my nose. It's not going down? No, sir. If I was, I'd have one of these with me. <laughs> that turtle uh, been in there for a minute. So we've taken a little break here. Everyone got a little power nap. Now it's time to get serious. Time to get serious. Yeah. Put some more work in behind them binos and find some out dad. Mm -hmm. Here, kitty kitty. I'm I'm very, very, very confident we're gonna find them out in life. And you're gonna shoot one in your home state. Okay, let's do it. Law of attraction. Mm -hmm. Here, kitty kitty. Let's get it done. Let's go. I'm ready. Jay, you're really good at your job, dude.
potash sheep. They go for a long periods of time without water. They mostly get it from these agave plants. They'll root them up and eat the bases of them and get most of their water from that. It's been a long day. It's evening. The sun's getting lower. And we just haven't found any more sheep other than the ones from first thing this morning. So we're kind of heading back towards the truck, hoping we can find the ones we found this morning. Maybe some others joined up with them. But if they didn't, we're gonna have to figure out something for tomorrow because there's not sheep up in this big country. We'll see. What do you think? No cheap. It's hot. It's and there's hot. no cheap. It's super hot. Not a lot of animals. The buzzards up here are eyeballing us. They know we're gonna go down of dehydration pretty soon, so. You out of water? They keep circling. No, I've got, a, got some left. Shot that little one first thing this morning. Not the it's, it's, not, not, it's not like we got a week out here. We uh, had that whiskey half finished by now. Oh, I don't think any of us need that tonight.
thanks guys for watching episode 44 of uh, first part of a two-part series that's going to conclude the season as uh, two weeks ago we went to West Texas and uh, got redemption on Audad in Texas so uh, thanks for tuning in thanks for all the comments and, and the positive vibes that you guys have sent our way uh, it's very very appreciated and humbling and we can't thank you enough for giving us 15 to 20 minutes of your days for the last couple of uh she's almost months uh 50 days or so thank you very much um we are giving away the rifle that will be on friday so uh, tomorrow we'll conclude the the series and then on friday we're giving away the rifle so make sure you're tuning in uh if you haven't yet there's still a couple days to get registered to win the rifle and uh there's a link in the description below also we're giving away a t-shirt of course from last night's uh, from commenters on last night's episode uh, check the very bottom of the description of this video you will see there, there will be a name and a comment there if that is you go to our website there's an about us page uh, use the contact form there send us your shirt size your shipping address we'll get you that shirt out make sure you hit that subscribe button give it a thumbs up leave a comment we love that stuff uh, helps motivate us to keep doing this and uh, just want to say thank you we'll see you tomorrow